Hey art nerds, in our last comic prep and process tutorial I showed you guys how to use two point perspective in an entire page illustration. Today we're taking it panel by panel and using the appropriate perspective grid for the needs of that panel. Now on this sheet of paper I know it's super duper hard to see but you guys are just going to have to look really closely. I have printed out the blue lines from my thumbnails to serve as a guide. And I use that as sort of the basis for drawing in my perspective grids. And I do all my underdrawing using non-photo blue lead. I'm using Pilot Color Eno Lead in soft blue. And you guys can find links to all of the materials used in this tutorial down in the description below. So this is the first time I have drawn Naomi's dad in this iteration. So I have the character design reference there. You guys can check out my character design tutorial for him by clicking the link here and checking the description below. And we're basically using just simple one point perspective to draw Naomi entering the kitchen and the kitchen scene. So it's pretty straightforward. One point perspective is one of the easiest types of perspective you can draw. And the reason it's called one point perspective is everything goes towards one vanishing point. And that vanishing point is usually located in the viewer's vertical center of the panel. You can fudge it and move it around. That can cause distortion. So it's one of those use as appropriate sort of suggestions. Now two point perspective is called two point because it has, that's right, two vanishing points and it goes on from there. Now once we reach three point perspective, which we may never, well, I say never, but we might reach it in care. There's some scenes I want to do that with. But three-point perspective is when we start to break away from all of our vanishing points being on the horizon line. Because the third point in three-point perspective is either above or below the horizon line. And if you guys are looking for more step-by-step -step walkthroughs for perspective here on this channel, I've got you covered. You can find links to those down in the description below. I also want to point out that this video was sped up several times. It takes me about three or four hours to draw a page of roughs, depending on what's going on in that page. And I don't want anyone to get discouraged seeing how quickly this video moves. I mean, this is just an 18 minute video and feel like they're not drawing fast enough. Um, I don't want to perpetuate unrealistic expectations, but I also know that after a certain point in time, people are not going to be watching anymore. And when I'm working panel by panel, I basically finish out that panel entirely, including penciling it in before I move on to the next panel. And I've taped all this additional paper around my panel for the same reasons I've used the post-it notes in prior tutorials and used additional paper in um, our last single page perspective tutorial. It creates a buffer. It allows me to draw through the figure. As you can see, I drew through Naomi's rib cage there. And it gives me room to create my perspective grids.
back here we have a pretty simple panel. I'm actually not going to do a whole lot of perspective gritting out for this. And it's Naomi pulling back a chair. And the reason I didn't do this as part of the tutorial where we're drawing all the easy panels is I wanted to reference this. And let me tell you guys something. Person pulling a stool might not be the best Google search term. <laughs> so um, I had to work from a combination of reference and from memory. Now, normally, if you cannot find reference online, I would recommend recreating your own reference as we did for the cover where Naomi is holding Pancake wearing a banana costume. But I work alone all day long, and unfortunately, it takes two, two or a timer and a tripod, but it takes two in my instance to get good reference photos because I have to square everything up, and it's so much easier to have just another human behind the lens. So if you find that you can't budget, if you can't fake it, then absolutely get another person to help you out. So even though we're not really using a perspective grid to help with this panel, I still taped it off just to give me room to draw things through. We have another pretty simple panel here. It's Naomi's dad putting the food in front of her at the table. Now, this is a panel that I'm going to need to pull out in post when I'm working digitally and draw a little bit more of the table surface here. We're just too far pulled in. So I have found that it is easier to redraw than it is to draw. So even if I'm drawing something sort of wrong, if it's getting me closer to my end goal and I know I can correct it easily in another stage, I will persist in drawing it slightly wrong and just fix it later. So, but that has taken years of me honing my process and figuring out how I draw and what works best for me to figure that out. So I really encourage you guys to put the time in, experiment, play with different methods, play with different art supplies, try traditional, try digital, until you figure out what you're most comfortable with. Once you've found a process that you're really comfortable using, it's going to help you produce comics much faster and with more confidence.
then we have a fairly simple panel. I only taped it off on one side. Part of that is I wanted to reference the panel above it. And part of that is I want to be able to extend anything I might need to extend into the other panel. Now, once you have a lot of experience drawing backgrounds and utilizing perspective grids, you'll be able to kind of fake it for very, very basic, simple things. So here we basically have one point perspective. We have the table front. It's basically horizontal to the picture plane. We have a plate, we have an orange juice glass, we have a cup of coffee and we have a couple of characters. So we don't have to do a lot of gritting out to figure out where things are gonna go for them to be believable. Now, this panel is more of a challenge than I thought. I would have loved to have referenced this panel. It's Naomi reaching to take the phone out of her dad's hands. I ended up having to redraw this a couple times just to kind of get it more correct. What I might do with this, as well as with Naomi pulling out a stool so she can sit down, is I may end up taking reference photos and then fixing those digitally later on.
that about wraps it up since I finished the final panel in another tutorial. I hope you guys found this useful, helpful, and informative, and I hope you guys will stay tuned to this channel. I have a lot of art and drawing tutorials planned for you guys. If you live in the Nashville area and would like to come learn in person, sign up for my Making Comics class or any of my Plaza classes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!